Hello everyone, welcome back for another tech tip here at 45 Drives. And uh, what are we talking about today? Well, we have another new piece of hardware to show you, the Stornado F16. Okay, so the F-16, what is it? Well, it is the next entry in the Stornado product line, the all-flash, the NVMe-capable product line from us here at 45 Drives. The name, F-16, describes exactly how many bays are in it. 16 of them. It's designed primarily to accommodate the 15 millimeter wide, two and a half inch U.3 NVMe drives. These things are awesome, really powerful, and really, really big. You can get up to 30 terabytes, maybe even bigger on some, but the Micron drives that we've been testing with, up to 30 terabytes. Um, so 16 bays, again, powered by the UBM technology that powers our other 32 bay NVMe capable machine. So SATA and SAS are supported as well too. So as the overall, let's talk specifics, right? So let's get into the mechanical design first. Um, two U height, same as its uh, 32 bay sibling. Um, the same push and pop mechanism as we know and love here. Remember, we hate caddies. Um, plug that in, pop it out, nice and easy, beautiful. Um, fun little treat too, printed in on the, uh, on the drive guides is a little fighter jet, F-16. I uh, always love a little Easter egg like that. And then the rest of the chassis design is, well, for lack of better words, pretty simple. But that's the point. We just have got the right airflow to move as much air as we can through these NVMe drives through the system and just whew, nice little duct to move it all out of there. Um, a lot of time spent in the thermal engineering and uh, lessons we've learned from some of our previous products of backplane design. So really excited about that. The main functions, or sorry, the main things that hit with this mechanical design, remember? Same 2U height, same push and pop mechanism we know and love. We hate caddies and a nice simple design that maximizes airflow through the server. All right, so let's talk about the electrical, the power distribution, the data path, the backplane. So, um, like I mentioned, we've learned some things from our, our past backplanes, and to maximize airflow, we pretty much change the orientation of the backplane like this, where drives plug in, to have them in line with the drive. Whew, so we can have airflow right past them. So, built off that same UBM technology that we put into its sibling 32 bay uh, machine, we now have a nice individual backplane poured per drive where we now have 16 drives instead of the 32 bays, like the previous design, um, we have now been able to double the amount of PCI lanes into each NVMe drive. So every bay is electrically wired to four PCI lanes to maximize that throughput of this drive back into the system. So what does that mean? Well, this thing can use denser drives, they can go twice as fast because we've got more lanes coming from them, we've widened the highway if you will, and um, less power because we're only powering 16 of them now instead of 32. So really, really excited about that. And uh, shout out again to Josh, one of our lead engineers on a great, great design. Um, if you're looking, moving on to our power distribution, uh, these big old clamps at the bottom. Um, one thing that we've been trying to do with our products more and more as we go is reduce the amount of cabling as much as possible. Now, if you look at this, you might say, well, there's still a lot of cables here. Can't do much about the data IO cables. These are very important, very important design, and they have to work the way they work. So they'll always be here. But if we can reduce the amount of power um, cabling distribution lines, easier to use, easier to look at, just nicer, cleaner power, more efficient power, um, so again, power supply here, same old ATX into the board, but what you can't see right now, because it's closed up and you're all the way over there, is um, you can't see the power harness. Ah, trick question though, you can't see the power harness because there is no power harness. We've got a big bus bar of distributing the power through. That's what these clamps are for. The drives click in and that's how we distribute power to all the drives. Good, good clean power, no ripple, no voltage droop, and um, even better, no wires, minimal wires. There's always a few wires. Okay, so we talked electrical and we talked mechanical. Now let's talk about the, the brain, the computer electronics in this thing. So um, same computing platform as our other similar products. You'll find the same stuff in the F32 as you'll find in here and you still have the choice of AMD, Intel, dual socket, whatever you wanna do. The 8004 series, 9004, Intel 4th gen. Remember, we allow you to choose the right thing for you. My particular 
our particular choice, the AMD platform is awesome. But you do you. Remember, open. Design means you get to use this the way you need to use it. Okay, whatever. With that said, if you want more details about what options can go in to these boxes, why don't you go check out a video we just made recently about the new generation of hardware that we're shipping in our products. Um, you can check that out. I don't know. Chris will put a link somewhere. Uh, on top of that, um, plenty of PCI lanes on all the boards so you can get high speed networking into this thing. Remember, these things are fast. Like we're talking tens of 20s of 60, 70 gigabytes a second. That might even be whatever. They're fast. Um, we're getting all four lanes out of these drives. We've got the same direct wired um, architecture and all our HBA cards. As much parallel access out of these drives as we can. So we need a lot of high speed networking to get it out of the box as well too. So a lot of PCI lanes for that. The LSI 9600 cards. And like I said, a lot of gigabytes a second millions upon 10 millions of IOPS a second out of these things. There's a lot of power in this thing. IO power, less electrical power because we've got less drives. All right, so that's what the F16 is, but why the F16? Well, natural evolution of our uh, NVMe product line, right? We had the 32 bay, 16 bay makes sense. There's a large demand for the wider um, 15 millimeter NVMe drive. So we wanted to give people a platform for that. There's a large push for people saying, I don't need that many drives. I might want to use a little less power. I might want to do it a different way. There's that. So ultimately, why? Because we listened. We listened to what people wanted. We saw what the market wanted. And because we chose the technology to build on, we were able to jump to the next product and do iterations of this and build out the family tree of this tornado relatively quickly. All right, so how and when can you get one of these things? Well, very soon. Um, we already have a couple um, of our first working prototypes out with various customers who are very interested in this design and wanted to put it to use. Um, surprisingly doing a bunch of different stuff with it too, it's really interesting. So we're very, very far along in the design process. Uh, if you want to get it quoted, if you want to get that process started, reach out at us at Info45 Drives. If you have an existing account manager, reach out to them. They can talk to you, they can get you quotes, they can tell you about the F16. So when? Very, very soon. We've already got some of these out in people's hands. And as always, reach out to us. Info45 Drives, your account managers, any of our socials, our crews watching at all times. At all times. Oh, and I forgot where we were. YouTube. Just leave a comment below. We love reading them. We can give you any answers, anything quick like that. So don't forget to do that. Also, in the description below, there's a link to a newsletter that'll tell you everything about the Stornado line, about the F-16, and keep you up to date with everything you need to know. So, as always, thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you next time.